Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin SL TV. Today, I would like to share how to create time picker that will always retain a time in the desired format. Let's start by designing the time picker. Go to the developer tab, click on insert. Firstly, we need a frame for the time picker. I'm going to make use of the label. Let's insert. Next, click on properties. Instead of having black color in white, I'm going to change it to manual bar for the caption instead of showing label one i would like to use it as instruction to have a better feel we can start with a space before typing the instruction for example pick a time and for the font change it if needed i'm using calibri regular with size 16 click on ok next let's insert controls to be used as the time component i'm going to make use of combo box insert at the desired place change the font if needed and for the height i will use 27 while the width be 42 for the text if let's say we wish to set a default time for example 12 am so for the other component let's type a 12 here press on enter select the control copy and paste it move to the desired place if let's say if we want to ensure that the two controls line on the same level we can first select the first control scroll and look for the top position so we have the deny here next click on the second control scroll down and make sure the top position is also the deny for the second component since it's to be used to represent many component so i'm going to change the text to to zero select the control copy paste it repeat exactly the same step copy again paste it and the last control i'm going to use it to let the user to select either am or pm since i'm using 12 hour time format scroll down and change the text to am if you notice that part of the character is covered we can resize the control whenever needed next insert two labels to be used as the colon again change the back color to menu bar and for the caption change to colon resize the label and we can use the arrow key on the keyboard to move the label to the desired position copy and paste it also move it to the desired position next i need another compo box for the user to choose the desired time format insert at the desired place for this combo box i would use a smaller font size let's change the font size i would use a size of 10 click on ok scroll down and type the default format next to text i would like to have our colon minute colon second since i wish to use a 12 hour time format make sure we have am or pm next to the time lastly insert a command button in order for us to transfer the time to the selected cell change the back color if needed i would use green in color for the caption i would change to ok lastly select any one of the controls and press ctrl a right click click on group and group them close the window go to shape format click on selection pane change the group name i would use it as time picker this would be used for the coding part later it's very important for us to remember this name and we can now move to the coding part in visual basic i will write the code in this sheet that is sheet one so let's double click it from the list of objects select worksheet make sure we are using selection change start with an if statement to show this time bigger whenever any one of the cells within the range b2 up to c11 is selected so i'm going to make use of application dot intersect to check for is there any intersection between the selection of the user and the desired range opening parenthesis let's make use the selected cell that is active cell or we can make use of the target variable comma followed by the range that we want opening parenthesis type as string which means that 
we need quotation mark. As spoken just now, I want to be B2, use colon to indicate range, up to C11, quotation mark and closing parenthesis. Another closing parenthesis to end the intersect function. In order to ensure that the time P girl is shown only if needed, we have to make sure that there is overlapping between the selected cell and the range. So we should have something here. But we don't have a code called something in Excel. But we have nothing. To make nothing become something, in front of the application, make use of not. Since not nothing is something. If this is the case, then we can show the time picker. Since we are going to call the time picker for a couple of times, instead of retyping whenever needed, we can make use of the with statement. The time picker which is in this sheet. So we can make use of me dot. Since we have converted to shape, let's make use of the shapes function. Opening parenthesis, provide the name. In terms of string, we need quotation mark. The name that is time picker. Quotation mark and closing parenthesis. Enter. Whenever we wish to call the time picker, start with dot. And I wish to change the visibility. So make use of the visible property set equal to through enter also i wish to adjust the position of the time picker so dot the top position i will set exactly equal to the top position of the cell that is target dot top next set the left position also equal to target dot left if let's say we don't want the time picker to overlap the selected cell but next to the cell then we should plus the cell width so we have target dot width since we start with width of course we have to end with width if this is not the case then we have else if the user selected the cell outside the range then i should hide this time picker so we have me dot shapes opening parenthesis quotation mark again the name time picker quotation mark closing parenthesis followed by dot visible and set equal to false since I wish to hide it. Start with if, of course, and with if. And we can now add number to the combo box. Again, make use of the with statement. Start with the first combo box. So we have me dot combo box one. Let's first clear whatever we have so that the number is not added more than one time. Followed by the default time. So we have dot text and set equal to 12. Next is to make use of for loop to add the number by using a dummy i set equal to 1 up to 12 since I want 12 hour time format. Next, make use of dot add item and followed by i. However, if we wish to have a specific format, so we have to make use of format function, comma, type the format in terms of string, which means that we need quotation mark. Since I wish to have two digits all the time, so I should use a zero before the number. Quotation mark and closing parenthesis. Finish the first i, of course we have to proceed to the next. Start with width, of course, and with width. Let's copy and paste it. This would be the code for the second combo box. Let's change accordingly. I should have a text of two zero type as string and the minute component should run from zero up to 59. This would be exactly the same for the second component but for combo box 3. On the other hand, for combo box 4, which is to be used AM or PM, we shouldn't use any for loop. So let's delete it and I would have the item either AM or PM. And for the last combo box, which is used for the user to select the desired format. So we will have combo box 5, type the default format here. So we have hour, colon, minute, colon, and second, either AM or PM. And I would use this as one of the options. So we have dot add item, paste the format here. And for the rest of the options, if we have no idea how should we write 
the time format, don't worry, let's back to a spreadsheet, press Ctrl 1, click on custom, scroll down and look for the time format, we have one digit for hour, followed by two digit of minutes, and without the second component, if you could see either AM or PM, which means that these are in terms of 12 hour time format. On the other hand, if you couldn't see AM or PM, which means that these are in terms of 24 hour time format. Besides, if we see dot zero after the second components, which means that this is for millisecond. On the other hand, if the time component is written braces, which means that this is to accumulate the time elapsed in the desired time component. For this case, this is the total hour elapsed. Click on cancel, back to visual basic, type the desired format here. For example, I would like to have 24 hour time format as the option. Also, the hour component with only single digit. And the coding part to assign all the needed information to the time picker is now done. Now let us write the code to send the selected time to the selected cell. From the list of objects, select command button 1. Make sure we are using command button 1 click. To send the time to the selected cell, make use of active cell. Set equal to the numbers on the combo box. We have me dot combo box 1. Use emphasis to connect with the rest of the numbers of the combo box. Before that, we need a call in. Type within quotation marks. Another emphasis followed by me dot combo box 2. Repeat exactly the same thing. So we copy and paste it here. Then we have me dot combo box 3. Paste for the last combo box that is me dot combo box 4. Since the last combo box is to show either am or pm. So nothing to do with this colon. We should change to space. And lastly is to format the cell. So we have active cell again followed by dot number format and set equal to the format selected by the user which means that we have me dot combo box 5 we should use the text property lastly is to make the time picker be invisible since we have selected the time also type the name in string we have time picker closing parenthesis followed by dot visible and set equal to false and the coding part is now done as back to spreadsheet of the design mode whenever any one of the cells which is out of the desired range is selected the time picker disappear but when we selected any one of the cells within the desired range the time picker appear and it is next to the selected cell so let's pick a time let's say i want it to be 6 hour 30 minutes and 1 second am with this format when we click on ok the time in the desired format is sent to this cell so select the other cell the time picker appear this time i would have 8 30 pm let's say i wish to have 24 hour time format click on ok so in the desired format as we can see here okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you